Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Google Maps uh, location map widget and the Google Maps direction page. So your visitors can uh, actually generate custom directions to your place of business. So if you remember looking at on our home page here, we don't have our Google Maps widget added here yet. If we look at our, you know, our demo site here, you can see that we want to add it right here on the bottom right. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, create the location map page, which we did in a previous video. If you haven't uh, created your location map page yet, go ahead and do that now. And um, once you have it created, uh, you want to make sure that you have your address typed into the content of the page. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, go back and watch the, uh, the page templates video, and you'll see me set up this page. So we have this page set up. The first thing you want to do is go under your WordPress dashboard and we want to go under the widget section so click on appearance widgets and we're going to add it to the home page bottom right area of the site and we want to drag over the widget called contract theme dash location map so go ahead and drag that over and you can give it a title and call it whatever you want you know you can see here we call it our location you can call it whatever you want we're just going to put our location just to keep things uh, the same here and here's where you actually select the page that you want to use for your location map this is why you actually have to uh, have the page created beforehand so we're gonna go ahead and select the page called our location which we've already created and we're gonna click save now we're halfway there we go back to the home page you can see that the Google Maps widget has been added but of course it's not using you know any specific it's not using a place it's just giving you a generic point on a map and if you click on click here to get directions it links to our location map page but it really doesn't have it's not showing our you know our, our map our place on the map so what you need to do now is go under contract theme settings so go ahead and click on that and you need to click on or expand the part called location map settings now here is where we enter in all the details to make our map work. Uh, you can go ahead and skip the Google Maps API key uh, unless you anticipate exceeding over 25,000 map loads per day, which means your site probably gets you know a ton of traffic. Uh, if you're just building a local site, then you probably won't need the Google Maps API key, so you can go ahead and skip this. But if you really feel you need one, you can go ahead and click on this link and find out how to get one. But otherwise, just go ahead and skip this. Um, disable mouse scroll uh, this is if you want to disable people from being able to pan around and and uh, you know scroll through your map I like to leave that option so I'm gonna leave this unchecked but of course you can check this if you want uh, geotag uh, this is if you want to add um, a geotag to the uh, head section of your website now zoom level it could be a little tricky to get this you know right um, if you play around with it, but I recommend starting out to around 10. This will give you a nice zoom level, nice little medium zoom level where people can actually see your place of business and you know the, you know a certain surrounding area, you know the surrounding roads and stuff like that. If you set this number too low, then people aren't really going to see, are going to be able to see you know where you're actually located on the map. They're just going to see, you know, a, a really zoomed out map view, and they're not going to be able to see any of the details. You know of the, of the surrounding roads in your area. If you set this too high, then they're, all they're going to see is like you know, you know the front the front uh, door of your place of business, and like, that's it. So keep this at around ten to start out and play with it from there. Uh, here you can select your map type. We like to leave this on road map, but you can select you know the different types of Google Maps here if you want. Language. Uh, if you're in the U.S or any place that uses the English language just put EN here or if you're in another country that uses another language just go ahead and click this link here and you can find a list of language codes to enter in here you can actually you know find your language name here and then actually enter the corresponding language code over here so since we're using English we're gonna put EN now address here's where you actually enter in the address of your business now um, this is pretty simple, but you have to keep it on one line of text. So we're just going to grab a demo address here, which happens to be the White House. And we're just going to grab, copy the address, and we're just going to paste it in here. Just like that. OK, 
Okay, so enter in your address just like that, you know, standard address format. Separate the state or the city from the state with a comma. Enter in your zip code and all that good stuff. And latitude and longitude. Now, don't let this scare you if you don't know how to get this information. It's really easy. All you need is your address, which is right here. Copy that. Go to getlatlon.com, which is basically uh, right here, .com, G-E-T-L-A-T-L-O-N.com. And what you want to do is just paste in your address in here and just click on Zoom to Place. Now, don't move this map because once you do, you can notice down here we have our latitude and longitude numbers here. And they will actually change as we zoom the map. So don't zoom around. Make sure you just type in the address, your address, click Zoom to Place, and don't pan around. Just grab these numbers here. So the first one is the latitude. So go ahead and copy that number. Go back to our theme. And we're going to paste in our latitude no number here. And for longitude, we're going to make sure you grab the negative, you know, if you have a negative in your number here. So just go ahead and copy that with the negative symbol. And we're just going to paste it in under longitude. Now we should be all done. So we're going to click on Save Changes. And our location map settings are done. If we go back to our home page, you can see that our Google map has updated and it now shows our you know our location on a map now you can actually play with this zoom level like we we're talking about you know as you want so let's go back to our location map settings let's say we wanted this to zoom in more let's click on like uh, 15 let's see what that does save changes go back you can see how it zooms in more here you know that actually looks a lot better for our particular situation again you're gonna have to play with this to get it to where you want it and we can also, you know, change the different types of map we want to display here, but we're going to leave it. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to click on click here to get directions. So this is what your visitor would do to get directions to your place of business. They're going to, you know, once they click on click here to get directions, they're going to get taken to your location map page and they're going to see a nice little map like this. And here's where they can actually, you know, enter in their address. I'm just going to type in a bogus address here. So I've just generated a random address here. I'm going to head and grab the uh, Lamborghini Beverly Hills car dealer address here. I'm going to type that in for our address. <clears throat> so this is what your um, this is what your visitors would actually be typing in for their address. Okay. So let's pretend that we're driving from this Lamborghini dealer. This is our address. Okay. And we're trying to figure out how to get to um, uh, the your place of business. So we're going to click on Get Directions. And you can see that the directions have been automatically generated. You can see that we're driving from, you know, South Cali Southern California all the way over to um, Washington, D.C. That's quite a, a drive. You know, obviously, your clients would probably be driving, you know, a shorter route. But again, Google Maps handles it, you know, effortlessly either way. You can see all these directions have been generated. Now, obviously, if your uh, visitor is local, their directions here are going to be a lot shorter. Instead of, you know, 26 different steps, there might be two or three or five different steps okay so that's it for setting up a location map um, on your site and uh, have fun with it and if you have any questions just let me know thanks bye